with Matt Derrick. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Trey, good to see you. A couple of questions for you. Um, but first off, you know, this is the most, obviously, games and snaps you've probably ever played in your career and everything. People talk about a rookie wall. Have you felt like there's anything that you've had to push through and anything you kind of had to manage as far as your your health and your, you know, just physical state right now? Yeah, you know, just uh, being consistent about, you know, body maintenance and habits, uh, doing the right things off the field, you know, getting enough sleep, eating the right things, you know, that has helped tremendously, I'd say, especially in this latter half of the season. Uh, it's definitely something that uh, is new to me. Obviously, I haven't played this much football ever uh, in my life, so it's something I'm adjusting to. But, you know, just building those good habits I had at the end of the season, they're paying off, you know, at the end. Let's go next to Herbie T.O.P. Go ahead, Herbie. Trey, good afternoon. Hope you're well, man. Good afternoon. As, as you reflect, uh, as we come to the end of the year, obviously a lot of expectations for yourself and even uh, your fellow offensive linemen entering this year. How, how would you say you've either met the goal or there's still more to achieve? Yeah, yeah. I think there's always more to achieve. You know, you can play for 10 plus years. There's always something you can do better, something you can learn. Uh, so, no, I'm not, you know, satisfied where I'm at. Uh, there are a lot of things I can do better. Um, being more consistent in my game. And, you know, that's not, once again, not only on the field, you know, on Sundays and Saturdays this week, but, you know, it's every day in practice. And, you know, it's building better habits as every day as I go on. Go next to Seren Petro. Go ahead, Seren. Uh, Trey, just as you're coming down the stretch run, are you noticing, I've, I've heard some guys, Tim Grunhard's a Hall of Fame center for the Chiefs, talked about how every level it gets faster, right? College to the preseason, to the regular season, and then you come up on the playoffs and that's a whole nother level. Are you seeing that, uh, you know, things kind of ramping up, particularly last week's game against a team that's going to be one of the playoff teams like you, where the speed of the game is really taking a step forward? Yeah, absolutely. I, I'd say that's pretty true, uh, especially from college and NFL. Uh, so I expect you know, playoffs to even be another level, uh, you know, competition and people competing out there. But uh, once again, you know, Coach uh, Andy Heck, Corey Mate, they do a great job prepping us week in and week out, you know, uh, letting us do the things that we need to do on the field and having us prepared to go out and do it. Let's go next to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hello, Trey. Uh, in the last two games, you guys as an offensive line have pushed forward to let your running backs uh, have over 100 yards these last two games. Just what has led to that success? And even with the shuffling last Sunday, what do you think you guys have done well to to get better in terms of run blocking? Yeah, you know, once again, going back to Coach Hack, Coach Mate, uh, you know, we go to work every week. Uh, Coach uh, <clears throat> BME, he has a great plan uh, drawn up every week, and we just go out there and execute it. And, you know, as an offensive line, you take pride in the ability to move a person from point A to point B against their will. And doing that consistently, you know, making room for guys like Clyde, making room for DG, Jet, uh, obviously Daryl Williams as well. You know, we take pride in it, keeping them clean, and letting them do what they do best. So next to Mick Schaefer. But Mick? Hey, Trey, uh, how do you think you guys did last week with all the transition, the guys moving around, and uh, Tooney moving to the outside? Is, is that a move you, you could make on, on the fly at some point, you think? Yeah, you know, um, going back to it, it's a next man up mentality, uh, especially in this league. Uh, anything can happen at a moment's notice. Uh, the guys who stepped in did an outstanding job, uh, you know, watching the film and everything, reviewing it. Uh, you know, once again, next man up, you know, Joe went out there, didn't blink. Andrew out there, you know, they didn't blink and they performed at a high level. And you can't ask for more than that. You know, if my name gets called for the opportunity and I have to go do that to help the team, you know, I won't hesitate to go help the team. Let's go back to Matt and Derek. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Trey, there's always a lot of horror stories about college and they're just about the length and the demands on your time. I mean, 5 a.m. practices, those kinds of things. How has the, you know, the physical demands on your time kind of compared for your rookie year versus college? Uh, and especially late in the season, you know, as far as how Coach Reed adapts, you know, changes his practices to kind of give you guys a little more time off. Yeah, um, for me, it was just about time management. That's like the biggest piece in the NFL compared to college, obviously. Um, I don't really have classes or homework, but my homework is, you know, studying my plays, getting in my playbook and make sure I'm ready and, you know, close to the game plan. Uh, Coach Reed does a phenomenal job with us. Uh, obviously, it's my first year here, but when I got here, I understand the older players talk about how well he does taking care of us, especially later on in the season, because we know what type of football is, you know, in front of us. So in terms of that, man, just got to manage your time well, and Coach Reed does a great job. We'll go two more. We'll go Pete and then Seren. Go ahead, Pete. 
hey, Trey, with COVID and everything, we won't get Allegretti. And I just was curious in the in the film review, just how he felt about his game, how you guys felt like he did as a group in the spot start, uh, despite you being on the other side. Yeah, I, I actually felt bad earlier because I didn't mention Nick, but Nick did an outstanding job too. I mean, he got me hyped up watching his pools a lot of times, especially in the goal line. Uh, brought a really high level of physicality to the game. Uh, and Nick's a guy that, I, you know, I take a lot of pride going to work with every day. A uh, great human being as well. But I thought he played excellent and I thought he had a great game. And we'll go last to Seren. Go ahead, Seren. Uh, and kind of along those same lines, uh, just Creed Humphrey. I know there's some statistical accolades out there for him that he's, I think, uh, one of the highest graded or maybe the highest graded uh, rookie uh, that's been out there. What, what What's it been like playing next to him? I know you guys kind of being in it together as rookies, but but also both of you playing at such a high level so early in your career. Uh, what's that chemistry been like for the two of you? Yeah, man, uh, it's been awesome. Uh, you know, being able to transition to the NFL with someone that you've known prior. Uh, obviously, I did a lot of draft training with Creed, uh, and it's been really, it's been a great ride. It's been a lot of fun. Um, in terms of watching work every day, you know, the statistical evidence, it doesn't surprise me just knowing him as a human being and just watching him operate. You know, he's methodical with what he does, and, you know, he's one of the best out there. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Trey, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, guys. All right, guys, we got uh, Coach Reed.